Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. It's the Weather Extreme video for Thanksgiving Eve, Wednesday, the 23rd of November. James Spann here going to a one-a-day production schedule, by the way. We'll do one of these a day through Sunday. We'll get back to the two-a-days on uh, Monday of next week as everybody gets back to work. Uh, we'll check some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning. Let's start with the Auburn Skycam. Actually producing this about an hour later than usual. And look at that. You can actually see some daylight there on the horizon. And, of course, that place will be buzzing in coming days, it's the Iron Bowl weekend game in Auburn this year, and uh, everything looks fine for the Saturday game. 2.30 kickoff, mid-60s at kickoff. Kind of breezy, I guess that's the big issue, a strong south wind at uh, 10 to 20, but no rain. Rain comes in way after the game is over, and that's good. There's the uh, Trustville Sky Cam overlooking Chalkville Mountain Road, and from downtown Birmingham, looking south from high atop the Daniel Building. Low clouds are still in place, as you can see. The trough that brought the active weather yesterday is moving on. Severe weather, pretty much a no-show yesterday. It was not a big event anyway, and uh, uh, to my knowledge, there were no severe weather reports statewide, and that's good. The surface front, well to the southeast, and uh, you're traveling today. You can pretty much see the deal. At the, the, the eastern seaboard is the, the problem. Uh, it's going to be kind of nasty for New York City and Boston. There could be some airport delays up in there with uh, showers extending down the coast, but much of the nation's in great shape. Uh, temperatures this morning, I would say seasonal, nothing extremely cold, nothing extremely warm, uh, right about where everything should be. And the rain for the next five days, uh, this is showing some pretty good amounts here. This is valid through the weekend, valid through Sunday evening at six o'clock. The uh, bullseye is around Tuscaloosa with two and a half inches, and most of that will be coming on Sunday with our next system. We'll check the GFS. This is the 06E run at noon today, trough moving to the east and again. That's the output at noon today, so if you're traveling, check it out. Rain back in the northwest, and again, uh, Boston, New York City, windy and wet, and that's where the major airport delays will be. And, of course, that's quite problematic. But Chicago, Dallas, Fort Worth, Atlanta, no problems. Thanksgiving Day tomorrow, look at that. Tranquil over a large, large chunk of the United States. That's great. We'll be in the uh, 60s here, just perfect. Black Friday looks good. Sunny. Highs upper 60s to near 70, and Saturday as we start the weekend, ooh, look at that trough. Big old full latitude thing coming at us. There's the surface chart. This is noon Saturday. Timing is very consistent now, and uh, we feel pretty confident. The rain is still west of the Mississippi River at midday Saturday, meaning uh, the Iron Bowl will be played with no problem. Now, the Egg Bowl over in Starkville, I don't know. It's going to be a close call for that. Um it might be an issue, for, especially for the second half. And then Sunday, that thing just kind of creeps on in here and uh, begins to cut off. And down below that, rain is right on top of us. And uh, the good news, there is zero surface-based instability. I mean none. Therefore, uh, there, won't, there won't be any severe weather if that's the case. Certainly some thunder, maybe some heavy rain. But uh, uh, we don't want a severe weather outbreak when everybody's traveling back after a Thanksgiving holiday weekend. So wet on Sunday, and temperatures probably start to fall. And look at Monday. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly. Goodness, a uh, nasty upper, let's say nasty, and it's very intense, cold core upper low, centered just west of us. Down below that, the uh, <laughs> the thickness values drop down to 5340 over uh, north Mississippi underneath that thing. And uh, with dynamic cooling, uh, any wraparound precipitation, that's going to be in the form of uh, snow flurries or snow showers. And uh, you can't ignore it. I mean, you got to mention it. Uh, you know, it shouldn't do much. But, you know, understand a snow shower can make the ground white. Wouldn't that be a novelty for November in Alabama? Pulled up the uh, GFS precipitation type uh, chart. This is valid uh, at 15Z Monday. That's 10 o'clock Monday morning. And uh, the, the blue, that's all snow. And it's got some snow falling over uh, north and northeast Alabama. And, it, you know, more than likely it would be light. But come on, you know the deal. Cold core, upper, low, weatherman's woe. Strange things can happen. So for now, we'll just mention snow flurries or snow showers Monday. High is only in the 40s. Wow. There's Tuesday. That thing begins to slowly lift out. Still, that's going to be kind of a raw day. We might hit 50 on Tuesday. Clouds and maybe a flurry, a flake, or a sprinkle. And Wednesday, a week from today, look at the 540 line still down to Birmingham. So all three days look cold. 
uh, as we start the week next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 8th of December. Another nice trough moving in here. And rain shoving off to the east, if this is right, in the land of voodoo. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Uh, the next video, at some point tomorrow, I uh, will do it uh, tomorrow morning on Thanksgiving morning. Again, we're back on the one-a-day production schedule for a while. And if you live around here, or if you're visiting around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. Join our television family on ABC 3340 uh, at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Happy Thanksgiving, and God bless.